If you're still manually building charts in Excel, there's a faster way. Check out how quickly Python and Excel can build custom charts with just the click of a button. Act as a data scientist. I need your help writing Python for Excel. I want to build a chart that analyzes the performance of three store locations by hour and how they are different from each other. My data is in a data frame called transactions, and the data is organized like this. And for that part, we simply have to go to our Excel file. We're going to come to transactions, and we're just going to take, I usually do like the top four or five rows, and we're going to get all the headers and the data formats and just paste that right into ChatGPT so it knows what we're working with. So we'll paste this into ChatGPT, there's our data, and we'll send it away and see what we get back. Now for reference, I am using ChatGPT. I am on a pro plan, but I'm not using any pro features. This is just the regular ChatGPT 5 model. For this, the only difference on the pro plan is that I've got significantly more queries than if you're on a free plan, but everything I'm showing you is totally doable on the free plan. Again, I'm not using any pro features for the example. So this is exactly what you can get back without spending a dime. Python and Excel is for free, and the way we're using ChatGPT 5 is free right now. Nothing costs money in this example. All right, and here we've got our code coming back. So you'll see it gave us a little bit of an explanation, and then it's writing out all of our code for us. Look at that. All right, and then it's gonna say how to use it, what you need to do with this, if you need to make any changes. You'll notice a lot of times it's gonna give you optional items. You don't need to use these, only if you only if you want to. But we're gonna go ahead and copy that code and put it into Python. All right, so here we are in Excel. We're gonna go equals PY, and then we're gonna paste in our code, and we'll hit Control Enter to run it. Now, should you have any issues with the code that ChatGPT gave you off the bat, it's really easy to give ChatGPT the error you get back and say, I got this error, help me troubleshoot. Usually in one or two times, it's gonna get it right for you. But just so you can keep following along with the video, in case you do get an error and you wanna come back later and work on it, I have sample code listed as code number three for this. That's gonna give you the result we're looking for. I had ChatGPT ability in this exact prompt, so it's the output that we're looking for, just in case you have any troubleshooting and wanna keep following along. All right, so now you see it says image. We're gonna right click just like we did before. Display plot over the cells. And here is our analysis of transactions by hour. Now, the ChatGPT prompt, it looks like it gave us two different options. The first one is the raw transactions over hour. And the second one is the hour 